to bed. Will you tell me a story? Do you actually need me to take you up to bed? I ask the boy. He thought for a moment, then with intense seriousness. Yes, I actually think you do. It's because of I've finished my homework and so it's my bedtime and I am a bit scared. Not very scared, just a bit. But it's a very big house. And lots of times, the lights don't work. And it's a sort of dark. I reached over and tousled his hair. I can understand that, I said. It is a very big house. He nodded. We were in the kitchen where it was light and warm. I put down my magazine on the kitchen table. What kind of story would you like me? To tell you. Well, he said thoughtfully, I don't think it should be too scary because then when I go up to bed, I will just be thinking about monsters the whole time. But if it isn't just a little bit scary, then I won't be interested. And you make up scary stories, don't you? I know, she says, that's what you do. She exaggerates. I write stories. Yes. Nothing that's been published yet though. And I write lots of different kinds of stories. But do you write scary stories? Yes. The boy looked at me from the shadows by the door where he was waiting. Do you know any of the stories about Click Clack the Rattled Bag? I don't think so. Those are the best sorts of stories. Do they tell them at your school? He shrugged. Sometimes. What's a click clack the rattle back? He was a precocious child and was unimpressed by his sister's boyfriend's ignorance. You could see it on his face. Everybody knows them. I don't, I said, trying not to smile. He looked at me as he was trying to decide whether or not I was pulling his leg and said, I think maybe you should take me up to my bedroom and then you can tell me a story before I go to sleep. 
but a very not scary story because I'll be up in my bedroom then and it's actually a bit dark up there. Two. I said, shall I leave a note to her sister telling her where we are? You can, but you'll hear when they get back. The front door is very slammy. We walked out of the warm and cozy kitchen and to the hallway of the big house, where it was chilly and draughty and dark. I flicked the light switch, but nothing happened. The bulb is gone, the boy said. That always happens. Our eyes adjusted to the shadows. The moon was almost full. And blue white moonlight shone in through the high windows on the staircase down into the hall. We'll be all right, I said. Yes, said the boy soberly. I am very glad that you are here. He seemed less precocious now. His hand found mine, and he held it in to my fingers comfortably trustingly as if he'd known me all his life i felt responsible and adult i did not know if the feeling i had for his sister who was my girlfriend was loved and yet but i like the child treated me as one of the family I felt like his big brother, and I stood taller, and if there was something unsettling about the empty house, I would not have admitted it for the world. The stairs creak beneath the threadbare stair carpet. Click clacks, said the boy are the best monsters ever. Are they from television? I don't think so. I don't think any people know where they come from. Mostly, they came or they come from the dark. Good place for monsters to come. Yes. We walk along the upper corridor in the shadows, walking from patch of moonlight to patch of moonlight. It really was a big house. I wished I had a flashlight. They come from the dark, said the boy. Holding on to my hand. I think probably they're made out of the dark and they come in when you don't pay attention. That's when they come in. That's when they take you back. Not nests. What's a word that's like nests, but not? House? No, 
It's not a house. Lair? He was silent. Then I think that's the word. Yes. Lair. He squeezed my hand. He stopped talking. Right. So they take people who don't pay attention back to their lair. And what do they do then? Your monsters. Do they suck all the blood out of you? Like vampires? He snorted. Vampires don't suck all the blood out of you. They only drink a little bit just to keep them going and, you know, flying around. Click clacks are much scarier than vampires. I'm not scared of vampires, I told him. Me neither. I'm not scared of vampires either. Do you know what click clacks do? They drink you, said the boy. Like a Coke? Coke is very bad for you, said the boy. If you put a to if you put a tooth in Coke in the morning it will be dissolved into nothing. That's how bad Coke is for you and why you must always clean your feet every night. I've heard of the Coke story as a boy and have been told as an adult that it wasn't true, but was certain that a lie which promoted dental hygiene and was a good lie, and I let it pass. Click clacks, drink you, said the boy. First, they bite you, and then you go all ishy inside, and all your meat and all your brains and everything except your bones and your skin turns into wet milk shaky stuff, and the click clacks suck it out through the holes where your eyes used to be. That's disgusting, I told him. Did you make it up? We'd reached the last flight of stairs all the way into the big house. No. I can't believe you kids make up stuff like that. You didn't ask me about the rattle bag, he said. Right. What's the rattle bag? Well, he said sagely, soberly. A small voice from the darkness beside me. Once you're just bones and skin, they hang you up on the hook and you rattle in the wind. So, what do this click clacks look like? Even as I ask him, I wish I could take the question back and leave it unasked. I thought. Huge spidery creatures like the one in the shower that morning. I'm afraid of spiders. I was relieved when the boy said, they look like when, well, they look like what you aren't expecting, what you aren't paying attention to. We were climbing the wooden steps now. I held on to the railing with my left held his hand with my right as he walked beside me. It smelled like dust and old wood that high in the house. The boy's tread 
was certain, though even though the moonlight was scarce. Do you know what story you're going to tell me to put me to bed? He asked. It doesn't actually have to be scary. Not really. Maybe you could tell me about this evening. Tell me what you did. That won't make much a story for you. My girlfriend just moved into a new place on the edge of town. She inherited it from an aunt or someone. It's very big and very old. I'm going to spend my first night with her tonight. So I've been waiting for an hour or so for her and her housemates to come back with wine and an Indian takeaway. See, said the boy. There was that precocious amusement again. But all kids can be insufferable sometimes. When they think they know something you don't, it's probably good for them. You know all that, but you don't think. You just let your brain fill in the gaps. He pushed the door to the attic. It was perfectly dark now, but the opening door disturbed the air and I heard things rattle gently, like dry bones and thin bags in the slight wind. Click, clack, click, clack, like that. I could have pulled away then, if I could. But small firm singer fingers pulled me forward unrelentingly into the dark. For more, For more videos, videos like this like on this YouTube, YouTube, please click please like, like, subscribe, subscribe and, hit and hit the bell button. Bell button. But, if you're, but if you're watching on Facebook, Facebook do, click do click like and hit, and hit the follow, follow button. button. Thank, you, Thank you, dear, dear humans. humans.